Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on. You know my dad. Hey, what's going on? You all right? Yes, sir. So, man, we got a guest today, y'all. You know, I, I, I like to. Sometimes I like to reach back in my roots, you know. <laughs> a lot of people don't know me, but this guy knows me. It's been about four people on this podcast that knows me, that have known me, you know. But people evolve, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to leave me back down in Lodi and on that old trailer house. You know what I'm talking about? People evolve, man. Hey, man, Charles Colbert is here. Reverend Charles Colbert is here. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Man, I'm blessed, man. Man, let's and see. And highly favored, man. Highly favored. Yeah, yeah. Don't get, don't get it twisted. I'm highly favored. <laughs> I know. I see favor on you, hey, man. Thank it you, looks thank good you. on and you. And I received that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It looks good on you. So, so what's been going on, man? So I, I, in case people, what we do here is if, in case somebody don't know you mm-hmm. and, and haven't heard of you, okay, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm just a little old country boy from Linden, Texas. Okay, hey, okay. Highway in the house. 59 South. <laughs> <laughs> is there, as as uh, they ask the question about, gee, is there any uh, anything good can come out of Nazareth? Man, well, man. Somebody asked the question, can anything good come out of East Texas? I, I said yes. Why I are you getting yes. me excited? You say East Texas? <laughs> man, that's my thing. I've been bringing people up here from yeah, East Texas. East Texas so, is where it's at. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, we go way back from East Texas, little country boy, and um, went to uh, college in Tyler, TJC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out TJC. Yeah, and kind of wild out there and didn't yeah. do what I was supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. And, yeah, but uh, as you, you know, should, got caught as, up. As you should yeah. as a young man, it yeah. happens. Yeah, and then. Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Got caught mm-hmm. up in what? Hey. Just clubbing, club, you know. Come on, man. Drinking, was, was you smoking, all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just young, yeah, yeah, young, yeah. wilding out. You know, and um, I was going to transfer to. Um, I wanted to go to Grambling. Okay. Let me tell you what happened. Um, one night, uh, it was me and some of my. Uh, well, it was non-Greek. Look, I pledge. It's non-Greek. Yeah, you know, we did our little thing down okay. there. Okay. We had a little frat house. And, okay, yeah, and y'all down so, there. What they call it when they ma- haze them? Is that what they call it, baby? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they are yeah. hazing uh-huh. people. Back then, they don't do it that much. <laughs> they don't, no, they don't do they that. Get no. in trouble. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we get in trouble back then. But anyway, um, that's when I felt the call on my life. Okay. Um, and a lot of people don't believe me. I mean, God can meet you anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, I was drunk. I was high. Yeah. And, you know and. We had, you know, women and every all that type of stuff, and uh, and I heard just, just, just clear. I just heard the Lord say, "You know what? You don't know. You don't need to be doing this." Wow. I just heard him like that. You know better. Than yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But it didn't. You know, when you first, a lot of people think when you first receive a call or mm-hmm. you hear the voice, you know, you change right then. It was a process, not still. Yeah. And so I was planning on going to. Uh, Grambling. That's where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I just said, when I when, when I just That's felt that, essential. I said, no. That's I said, essential. I need to go somewhere where I, where there's yeah. no party, no football, right. no basketball, none of that type yeah. of stuff. Yeah. And then the ride just popped up. Okay. And okay. And I said, well, let me just go on back. And, uh, okay. Went to Dallas. My dad lived here. I didn't meet my father until I was 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So that's so why. So you were raised by your mom by herself? Yeah, well, I had a, my mom and my stepfather. My stepfather. Yeah, so and well, really, my and my grandmother. You know, that was really my, my, my roots. My, uh, my mother. Uh, got pregnant and when she was going to Jarvis. Okay. And uh, and so that's when she met my my biological father. Okay. And um, and I was you know for years I thought my stepfather was my my father. She didn't tell you no. Mm, no. Nah. Okay. And so about when I think I was about five or six years old I was watching I Love Long Ranger. Yeah. You know, we were down there in the woods. This is where I wasn't on 59. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. deep down yeah, in yeah, the yeah, woods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I was. She said, "You know, that's where your daddy from." I said, "What?" Just like, talking you know, just like that. that. Yeah. And then that's when I guess she just kind of broke it down mm-hmm. to me. And so I'm like, man, I wonder where he at. And and then uh, my aunt one day, and I was so- 10, yeah, sophomore, my sophomore year. Uh, my aunt called. She lived out here in Dallas. And I said, you want to meet your father? I'm like, what? On your dad's side? Huh? Yeah. No, my aunt, my mom's sister. Okay. She called. And so I was like, yeah, I was doing my homework, man, in the kitchen. I like, She said, well, let's talk to your mama. 
And uh, I said, okay, man, I was excited and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I guess you gave him the phone number and everything. And I called, and, man, I was just so excited because you always want to know who you look like. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Things yeah. like that. My mom closure, was good, closure. man. Closure. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't look like your mom. Huh? No. You know, well, you know, I was no, not really. You know, some people. I was all my grandfather, my oh, okay. my, my uh, mother's father. You know, he was tall, slim. Yeah. And then, but when I met my dad, met this side of the family, his brothers, I was you like, knew. oh yeah, I see why. <laughs> knew, yeah, I see. I was so, cutting up yeah. so much because of him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so. I see that's why. Good, but that's good at the way how you were raised. You never knew that that was not your father. I mean, you didn't. You weren't lacking. Right. You you had a father figure in mm -hmm. your life that yeah. was a good father figure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I don't want to say that. We had our issues. <laughs> we had our issues. But I'm going to be, I'm but, just gonna be but, real. And that's my testimony. I tell, but who don't you know, have but issues? But even your yeah. children will have issues with their real parents right. anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you're going to yeah. have issues. Yeah, we, we had issues. Um, it was tough. It was, it, it was tough because there was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. But uh, it... It made me better. Made me appreciate. It made. It gave me fuel mm -hmm. uh, uh, to be um, a, a, a better husband and a better father. Yeah. And even when I met my real father, he gave me a great example. He's going to be with the Lord now. He passed uh, on right before Father's Day a few. Okay. Uh, a few years ago. Okay. And uh, and but uh, I learned a lot from him. Did you do and the typical when you met him for the first time? Ask him why he wasn't there and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, mm, let me see. I'm trying to. I, I had that conversation with uh, my kids the other day, not too long ago. But no, nah, not really. It was like because I, I, I knew the story. Oh, okay. My it was it wasn't his fault. Uh, my mom. Okay, when she found out she got pregnant. He was, uh, okay, he got drafted. You know, he had to go to uh, Vietnam uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at that time. So she wrote him a letter and said that, you know, she's pregnant. And uh, and he wrote me, he was excited. He came. He was, you know, he wanted to come. And they said he came. And they went out, uh, you know, I guess he, he was, he was he always told me, and he told me the story. And it was always consistent. So, I, I you know, I believed both of them. And because uh, their stories was the same. They ain't mm -hmm. seen each other. And, like, you know, that yeah, was yeah, a yeah. That was a long, you know, time, long ago. time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I was like, uh, they could say when he came, when he got the letter, when he came back to, to the States, uh, he came to East Texas. He said he was scared of my grandfather. My grandfather, I don't know if you yeah, remember yeah, my yeah, grandfather. Yeah, yeah. He was tall. He, yeah, he, he didn't play. No yeah, he was real quiet. This is the one you got to watch. Oh, yeah. But he was, he said he was kind of nervous. No yeah. But he took me in the car, took my mom, and he said he had me in the lap, in his lap, and he was driving and kind of talking. He wanted to marry my mother. And my mom said no because she felt that she didn't want him to. She think that he wanted to marry her because she's was, pregnant. Because she's pregnant, right. and she didn't want that. Wow. So that that was the story, and so he left. But still, you know, you still kind of wanted like, man, was still all them years. But I let nothing, you know, like I was like, like when I got kids, I was like, there's nothing going to let me suffer. I don't care what it, what's going to happen, you know. Um, so did he know his father? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so him yeah. and his father knew each other. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, most so definitely. Kind of but he also had a stepfather as well. Okay. Um. But Did, um, was him and his father it was close? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. After well, maybe after left. you've seen him. Oh, later. You don't know what happened during the time when he was younger. No, I just go by the stories and some of my uncle. His. I mean, it was a close family. Just right. that uh, his uh, my grandfather and 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 my grandmother they just didn't work out. You know, and she remarried, he remarried. And so I met all the family, all the stuff. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. my wife, when we got together, I never seen. So she both people. had her biological yeah. parents, so, so she did, never experienced. So did my wife. Okay, yeah. So but she, I didn't. She didn't yeah. yeah, so I, I have, like, I, but I, I call it as a blessing because I had, like, I call it, like, four grandmothers. I done seen four grandmothers, uh, 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 two biological, you know, from uh, right. yeah. two steps. Yeah. You know, and they all, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so we all got along with uncles and ain't it? So it's kind of like, you know, and when my 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 wife got into the family, like, well, who's who, who's that? Who's that? She wanted to know kid. how long you've been married now. Oh, 20 years, man. 20 years. 20 you got to beat by a few, but we coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, we coming right there, two years. years. I wish she yeah. could be here, but she's. I saw, uh, I was, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we had asked for it first. Yeah, yeah. she's she's, she's like getting her be? master's. She's getting her master's. She's working on it. Yeah, and so we got this counseling thing going. So, so, um, so you meet your father, everything, you know, mm -hmm. everything, uh, is what it is. You know, after you turn 15, you get to, you, you, you 
after that, you get out of school, you move to Dallas after college. Yeah, when I got to college, after, after TJC, TJC, you yeah, said we're going to go to Dallas. Then I stayed with him to go to DeVry. DeVry. That's yeah. when y'all started talking. Yeah. And no, 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 no. I was coming when I was 15. Oh, yeah. I, was oh, y'all kept, y'all kept, I don't kept. know if you remember, but I was leave Linden and, and go, go to Dallas yeah, every yeah, yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and that, then sometimes on break. So, so, so y'all yeah. did get to mend the, oh, yeah. y'all, y'all mend the, that, that oh, the really? thing. Oh, man. I mean, and he was nervous, too, because he said he thought I was, you know, you're gonna dislike him. Yeah, right? or you know, I want to come back or what, man. He was like, "Wow, when he saw all my clothes, I was like ready to get out of the list. Yeah, 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 me too. So I'd be like ready. that. I wanted to go to the city, you yeah, know, and then met my brother. Yeah. You no, know, I found I had other brothers and and, and things you like that. Have any sisters on no, his side? No, no. He, she died. They told me she died when she was a baby. Wow, oh, wow. Yeah, wow. She died when so, she died. so, so now, now, fast forward to mm-hmm. fast forward to now being in the ministry. Yeah. Um, being uh, a pastor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how long you been at at that location? Okay, or or yeah, in, in or was it is that the only location you ever preached at? No, no. Well, I was called into a uh, ministry in West Dallas. By, okay, uh, um, he's, he's going to be with the Lord, uh, Superintendent. I'll call him um, Superintendent uh, Hunter. Okay, that's why I got saved under. Okay, and uh, and and uh, learned a lot. Learned yeah, a lot. yeah, and um, and I was, how old I was were man, you? Um, I was twenty. My my, see, my daughter was just born. She was four. I was twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty five. Okay, and you were yeah, married. 20. Yeah, yeah, I was been married before. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. this is your second marriage. Yeah, yeah he's trying marriage. to figure it out. Yeah, at least you was okay. getting married. I was getting locked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a difference. Yeah, yeah, both, yeah. But I had kids too. Right, but it right. was just I wasn't thinking about them like that. Yeah, yeah. I had a previous marriage. Didn't work out. You know, uh, she didn't want to be married to a preacher. That's what she told me. Yeah, there was nothing that I did. It was it was in a very dark place because I wasn't planning. Who who planned to? So y'all marry met before you got called. Hmm? Y'all met before you got yes, called to be yes, a preacher. Yeah, so yeah. it kind of threw her off mm-hmm. when you told her you was yeah. you you was going to turn your life right, over to God. Right, right. It kind of turns people's. You know, when you tell people, like I remember when I told my people, I was just family members. I wasn't drinking and smoking. This was. 20 some years ago now, almost 30, and they, mm-hmm. they looked at me and laughed so hard. <laughs> you know, but I, it, I'm laughing now. You know what yeah. I mean? I thank God for a change. I, yeah. I understand metamorphism. Mm-hmm. I understand how, yeah. how it is to be changed. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and I don't let what people say predict who That's I right. am. That's it. I, I learned to, to, to have some tough skin in Jesus. You got to. I don't really you care be like what Paul, people, Paul yeah. said, I let nothing. Yeah, separate me from the love of God. Yeah, he over there in Romans. Yeah, chapter because eight. he knew. See, I, and I love Paul, you know, because you know he, like I tell people, he was on his high horse. Yeah, when he got knocked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> You know, yeah, he was yeah, on that yeah, all yeah, his yeah, way yeah, to Damascus, yeah. That's and right. he had an experience, an encounter. Yeah, and yeah. I believe that what made him say that. That's like I. It's just like I feel. I let nothing. You know, it doesn't matter. What people say, you got to yeah. have tough skin. You got to. You can't. You, you can't to. be afraid of what people think about. And, you. and everybody don't look the same. Yeah. And that's the cold part about it. Yeah. It, it. Even in the Bible, Peter and Paul had two different things going on. So did uh, Philemon. You know, even when mm-hmm. he was called, you didn't hear much about him. But at the end of the day, he had something going over there in Colossae, and he evidently had a little money because Onesimus was his. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Was a runaway slave. Right. So right. When, when you think about that. You know, you see his ministry. I love people like him and Ananias. Yeah. Because Ananias, and I'm not talking about the Ananias in Safari. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Ananias, the one that, the one that yeah, yeah, the one yeah. That, that, that just came to Paul. Yeah. Because you don't hear much about him no, no more. Don't. Just like Onesimus and Philemon. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't, you don't hear, hear that about him. No, see, that's me like, right yeah. there. See, I'm here. <laughs> and I love God. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I got my thing going, and it's yeah. between me and him. And, yeah. and, they and, came and they served their purpose. And they served their yeah. purpose, and it wasn't no big eyes on them. That's important. You know? important. And I think you got to look at those people not mm-hmm. just the ones who you know most people gonna pull a john out or most people gonna pull a a, a james out or somebody like that but mm-hmm. the ones i look at is the ones that you don't barely see yeah. or hear about yeah, yeah. we didn't know where ananias come but, from but like think about that for a minute that's right that's right where well, did he come from we don't know we don't know never was told we don't know. Or, even, or even the person who wrote the book of hebrews who they say alludes to it that it was paul yes yeah, we don't know we don't know yeah, but yeah. at the end of the day whoever he was he was heavy yeah yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> now that's what this show is about, man. Yeah. I mean, therapeutically, I feel like what we say, what we say behind these microphones, right. basically is something that's healing, oh, right? Yeah. For yeah. somebody, and, and yeah. we get we get feedback. People call, well, that's and, good, and that's the thing about it. I think we should take every opportunity to educate people, mm -hmm. to make people laugh, mm -hmm. also to 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 be with people when the city is hurting. Yes, that's important. Yes, all that's right. the stuff that we're doing is something to give people a place of hope. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, and and that, and that void can be filled because there's so much in that that where that the void needs to be filled. Right. People right. don't really even think about it. You right. know, like well, my cousin said, "Man, what are you doing up there with a the podcast in the store? You you don't even call me for clothes no more. You <laughs> just you just gone on that podcast." Yeah. I said because it's it for me, and you know how I feel about yeah. it. It's a place where people can come. Right. See, see, ministry. they don't know we done prayed in here already. Yeah. We've been already yeah. doing that for years. Well, that's your ministry. Everybody yeah. got different. Yeah. Every, every ministry is not behind a pulpit. Exactly. I tell people that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, and and so just like Paul said, every. Body is it doesn't matter if you just it's a pinky yeah that whole body oh yeah we talked about important. that last night it's important yeah because gonna be I guarantee you mm -hmm. if if you step on my pinky oh toe, yeah 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 oh it's it hurt gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna hurt. hurt it's gonna hurt and you know? each member serves a purpose that's and right. no member is greater than the other that's, that's right. right we all gonna get our penny that's right because we right. all work together <laughs> I'll be tripping man. <laughs> Yeah, you always been like that, man. You say you change, but there's some things ain't change. I mean, change. you know, I think I think the character has just been perfected when it comes to yeah, God. He yeah, just like yeah. you said earlier about the money. Mm -hmm. Not only does the money amplify the issue if there's an issue, he'll ampl amplify the money or amplify other things. But the Holy Spirit, yeah. It takes you somewhere too. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what I'm saying? That'll yeah. evolve your character, man. That's right. In a way to right. where God can use those things that exactly God turn it to good. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You remember yeah. what Joseph went through? Yeah, man. <laughs> what you meant? What, what you, you meant? For evil. God turned God it to good. God flipped the script and yeah, turned it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think a lot of times people get it twisted because they'll try to put you in that box. Like right. when you go home and mm -hmm. you've seen it. Yeah. People be like, man, they'll come to you. That carnet. Yeah, I seen you at. Uh, I seen you at Big T, I think, that one yeah, time. It was and we was a ago. good we had a good time. Mm -hmm. That was about probably about eight, nine years ago yeah, now. It yeah, been, and so. uh we we chopped it up. It was yeah. just like we was in high school. Yeah, yeah. I said, Man, that boy still got a good heart. That's yeah, all yeah. the minister part didn't think about none of that. It right, was just right. love. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. where it be at when you yeah. really when your spirits yeah. connect. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't be tripping on no hate or nah, ill will or none nah, of that. Nah. You just happy to see somebody that you know that, hey man, that was a good dude. When I used to be in school, we would talk or Say yeah. something in passing. Or me and Mike was hanging together, yeah. and you might be with Carlos or one of them uh, boys. Dana. Or Dana Mac. Yeah. You know, and shout out Dana Mac. Yeah, uh, you better boy. be falling boss talking yeah. now. Watch out now. <laughs> you tell him I said that. Come on, Dana. Yeah, yeah. You better be on. You better subscribe and like. You know? <laughs> and then, what, what question yeah. you got for this? Now, now, remember, this guy's a minister, so we don't want to take it easy on him because he's a friend of mine. I want oh, you to do him Lord, just like you oh, did Lord. Reverend Rodney Taylor when he was here. Give him something that he can. You want to hear the backstory some more? Get oh, with him. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what? What's up with the church, man? I mean, it, 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 yeah. have have anybody ever? Well, um, um, I mean, you've seen some things going on in oh, the church. Oh yeah, yeah. And and, and you know, I t I tell people all the time, it's a building. I, I, mm -hmm. The word ecclesia means to be called you know, out like from among them. Out. That's right. We we ecclesia. we have to teach people to understand that God resides in them, but you do not forsake the semblance of yourself. So right. I get that part, That's you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But we want to make sure, like I told Reverend Rodney Taylor, shout out to Reverend Rodney. He said, man, why don't you come up here and, man, you could come up here and teach at my place, man, and the church, I think he in Oak Cliff somewhere. Okay. I said, let me tell you something, man. Why don't you bring all those guys here? I shut the store down and did all of them can come in here mm. and we could just talk about God because I want to take them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, I want to yeah. show them that God's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. See, see, because Jesus, when he he said, man, the harvest is plentiful. Yeah, but but the labels are few. few. I think we need to try to educate our people more. Right. And I think COVID shook people out of their oh, comfort man, zone. Please. See, yeah. because they had yeah. to get out here and deal with it on their That's own. That's right. It, it was a lot of people that they had a. Even me and you, you yeah. had to step and stare at each other for a minute. Yeah. Like we got to deal with these kids and family and, and yeah. our issues now. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got is, issues. My wife and I, we, we we say this all the time. You know, we have a counselor that so we we big on marriage. Yeah, big yeah, on marriage. Yeah. Um, even though I'm a pastor, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know, there's you know these different things that you hear about. You know, they after this want to be this, and uh, it's whatever God called me to do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm yeah. following God, but um, because I always say this. 
I don't want a stove. I mean, a, a mega church and a storefront marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've seen that so in the church where people so, so want to just build the ministry. You no, know, they but that's that's flesh. Yeah. You know, come on, want to be a superstar, come on now. but ain't no star but Jesus. All right. But now. you know they so and they leave their family behind. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing I say I'll never do because that's my first ministry. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. I do anything else, that's my first mm-hmm. ministry. So my wife and I, we uh, we started a counseling center. Okay. And uh, now, you know, I'm certified, even though it comes with the territory. I've been doing, you know, counseling, you know, there'd be my members or whatsoever. But we took it to another level where I get certified. Now I certify people that want to empower other couples and get their certification. And now my wife, like I said, she's getting a master's right, right now. Yeah. She's already got her bachelor's okay. of Christian counseling. She got more degrees than at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> But, but that's what but it yeah, takes, but, man. But, because but I always that's tell what people is yeah. that everyday struggle, we are all human beings. And yeah. no matter what and no matter how someone's relationship or someone look perfect from the outside, whether it be a pastor or Matt, just be a, a great couple that's been together mm-hmm. forever. And they're like, oh, my God, they look so in love. Yeah. Oh. They don't realize that you're going to have your ups and downs no matter who you are. Yep. And it's an everyday struggle because the devil is going to attack you every single day. Every day. And even those mega preachers that have the big, you know, and have, the, as you said, the storefront marriages, mm-hmm. they started out not like that but they graduated yeah. into that because yes. the everyday struggle defeated them right. instead of them trying to defeat that right. every single yeah. day yeah I get so it. that's really yeah. what it is that's good yeah. stuff you know and, and covid like you said covid uh, my wife said it exposed a lot it of did. things it did it right did. now i mean our our business have went up and and that i've been talking about the church right now but i'm talking about the marriages and our council I mean, we get calls every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now people is trying to see who they are, really are when they got married. Yeah, yeah. You know, they haven't been they've been at home for like mm-hmm. well, about a year now. They're working yeah, from home, yeah, and yeah. now they got to face each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the kids and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you you got to you got to be you got to have a personal relationship. You got to be deeply yeah. rooted. The one thing I like about you is the fact that you you say y'all are counseling, and I know that y'all love God, and mm-hmm. so many people counsel, but. They don't know God. And I I try to tell people all the time, God is your counselor when you get caught up in the wrong situation. Because Mm -hmm. if a counselor don't believe and he don't understand God, you know what I mean? I don't don't think I want to be counseled by him. I'm being real, but it's a lot of them out here. People are telling everybody about mental illness and they want to tell everybody you got to get counseling. And they don't put God in it. And I can't play with that when it comes to what God has brought me through. So when I see you and you talking about, and she'll tell you how I am. Mm -hmm. If you come on here talking about your your counselor, Mm -hmm. you go to a counselor, Mm -hmm. who do we believe in? Because yeah, I'm a believer. Now, yeah. I ain't telling me you got to do what I do. Right. But I'm right. just telling you, I don't get down with just anybody talking to right. me and putting things in my spirit. Yeah, you got to be very, very careful and have some discernment. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, we we just been blessed where, you know, people have been calling all over DFW. And yeah. um, right now, like I said, my wife and I, we've been doing it for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so when they call, they like, you know, we really just like your spirit. And, yeah. uh, and everyone that, that had said that, you know, we saved their marriage. Wow. But God saved, we just helped them. You just like my wife, well, like my wife and I said, we always tell them, we just the coaches. Mm-hmm. Y'all the players, y'all in the game. We just cheering y'all on the sideline yeah, and trying yeah, yeah. to navigate and guide yeah. y'all. You're yeah. yeah. just a vessel able. that God uses. Right. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to that. Yeah. But it's, it's so crazy the way how, um, yes, pandemic has affected a lot of people because it had to slow everybody down. Mm. This world is designed not by God to go so fast. Mm. Everybody's moving so fast that they forget about the most important things, which is the family, the us time, building relationships, having, mm-hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, if you lose your job, who are you? What do you have? Yeah. People are so, I'm going to school, I'm going to work, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and not and by the time you turn around, your kids are grown. You didn't spend that much time with them. <laughs> and I've always said, I didn't realize these things till I lost my dad. Mm. Because when I lost my dad, um, I started to think about what is it about him that I remember. And okay. I was blessed to always, I was a tomboy. So I went hunting with him, fishing with him, all of that. My brothers didn't. Oh, okay. But I was the one who wanted to do everything with him. And I remember all of these things that I did with him. Mm. And... So I started thinking about, okay, 
I want my kids to think of me that way, yeah. to think of us that way, to right. be able to say, oh, we did this together, we did that together, because we spent that time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're raised here in the States to say, okay, create a good life for your kids. Work, 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 make all this money so that you can have something to leave for them. Mm-hmm. That's monetary stuff. Right. At the end of the day, they can lose all of that when yeah. you die. The and thing you said that was important was it, it designed not by God. Not by God. Right. So right. that that's the part was yeah. what you got to get. You got to understand the the. I always say you got to understand the difference between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if right. you don't understand how to discern that, then mm -hmm. you can get lost quickly in the sauce. Yeah. Because a lot of people they they get lost in error because yeah. there's a error there's an erotic spirit out here mm -hmm. right. that teaches people the wrong way that project god the wrong way mm -hmm. and 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 it's it the bible says for such a false apostles mm -hmm. transforming themselves into the apostles mm -hmm. of christ yeah. and no marvel for satan himself is changed into an angel of right. light mm -hmm. therefore it is no great thing if his ministers be transformed also yeah so we know that this stuff is happening we know that people are put in places to try to take away from the things that God would have us to do. Yes, sir. So we have to be focused enough to understand the spirit of truth. Right. right. If we don't have that, mm -hmm. then we're not connected. Exactly. See, but see that, that, in your word but that, but, but that. even if you're in the word, you can be misled. When no, you look you at, can be. when you look yeah. at Romans chapter 10, mm -hmm. He said they had a zeal for God, but not according to the knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A lot of people you can, got zeal. You can have a zeal for God. Mm -hmm. And be really thinking you're doing something the right way for God right. and totally be yeah. off base. Yeah. Solomon said in Proverbs, it's called ignorant zeal. See? See? So, <laughs> and Paul, so zeals is good, but you got to know how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people thought they was really connected right. to God, yeah. and they wasn't. And well, I when think, I think about that, I think about, you know, you're growing up, whether in the church or in the building, mm -hmm. and, you know, you're raised a certain way, and you have that love for God because that's what you they placed they, in they you. They told right. you about right. it. But then mama told kid, you about it. But mm -hmm. as a kid. Like, but you so never got it for yourself. Mm -hmm. but, like, but mama told you about it. Yeah. Right. But as a kid, like, I'm only talking about me personally. Okay. I was not sitting down studying and getting a revelation with God through his word. Mm -hmm. I was just listening, going I get to church, it. listening to the preacher, and, just, you know, getting, you know, bits and pieces here and there. But right. until you can pick up that book for yourself and That's study it. it. That's it. And really realize what God is saying to you yeah. then and what he was saying to them, whether it be to the, Paul was saying to the Ephesians, to the Colossians, you know, yeah. the, and then try to relate it to today's society, to your life, then you're not going to really right. have the knowledge. Exactly. You're going to have the zeal mm -hmm. because you know what's wrong from right, what's good and bad. Mm -hmm. You're going to have that zeal and love for God, but you won't have the knowledge to back up your everyday. And that's a, and that's a bad thing because the Bible says my people are destroyed for the lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. That's true. Right. So that's, that's not true. a good thing. That's a bad thing because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can be destroyed for not knowing who, yeah. who you are in your Lord and Savior. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's important. It's important. It's your, if your life depended on it, if you knew you had, weren't going to have nothing to eat for the next seven days, you wouldn't be sitting here acting like you were good. <laughs> You'll be trying to get in the frantic to find something to eat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, because this thing is not tangible but spiritual, right? it, 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 it confuses yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You they see what I'm tapped saying? into that spiritual <laughs> side, yeah. And people don't realize, that, you know, there is a spiritual side. In this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, you, and what you feed the most is what's going on. So exactly. The most. So if you just feeding your flesh, mm. that's all you're doing. So so when things like this, a pandemic comes, uh -huh. you know, you're all like, you know, out of back, out of yeah. balance, and everything. Yeah. But when you are feeding your spirit, and you know that God said these things, these signs and things are going to come, then you know you don't you don't. You have not given us the spirit of fear. Right. You know, so exactly you're going to have fear because we're human. You know, even Jesus, when he was at the Garden of Gethsemane, because he was uh, walking in human flesh as well as he was 100 percent God, 100 percent man. But in the flesh, he said he fear came over. All right. Because when he said, Lord, let this cup be passed, that was fear talking. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. then he transferred his fear to faith because he said, nevertheless, Amen. not my will, but let thy will be. So when we as believers understand, you know, sometimes fear will come in, but just you only just for that second. But yeah. you got to learn how to transfer that into faith. Amen. 
you got to move from fear to faith fear because to faith. I know everybody was afraid of this pandemic because yeah. it was the unknown. Nobody yeah. knows that. Yeah. No churches was closing yeah. down. Well, you know, like, I come oh. out without, well, I had my mask on. I wouldn't even let my family go I out. I come out without, well, I had my mask on. I wouldn't even let my family go out. It was just mm-hmm. me. I yeah. go out and get the food and yeah. come back. And, Same here. Yeah, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. You know, I don't know what this is. Yeah. I, yeah, let me let me take the first hit. Right. Yeah. Real men did. Now, if y'all got a man that didn't go out there, <laughs> now let's just talk about that for a minute. If y'all got a man. And he didn't go yeah. out there, and y'all had to go out there and get that food during the pandemic. You might ought to check your mate. Checkmate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen to what I just said now, all my listeners. Because yeah. that, that really means something. I yeah. remember when I was little, and um, we were standing in, uh, right there behind Michael Mama house, okay. right there with them, some trailers right. back there. You yeah, remember that? Yeah, and remember we that. stayed right there in them trailers. And, mm-hmm. and I remember, you know, we didn't have no food. Mm-hmm. And, and Willie Melvin, that was his name. He did and gone now. Him and my mama had hitched up. And that old boy went out there, boy, and he went and got us some say He walked to the store. He had to walk to Piggly Wiggly or something like that. You know that old Piggly <laughs> yeah, Wiggly Piggly down there by Allen yeah, Brothers. Yeah. He, went to, he, he walked Alan down Brothers. there. He come back with them sacks, man. Yeah. He walked and he came back, and, 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 and that's that's what a man does. That's what he does. A man yeah. supposed to get up and go out there and that's figure right. it out, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a proverb that also says that a, a man, a slothful man, is come told on. to go out there, and he say, there's a lion out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he won't even raise his hand up to yeah. it. You know, the, 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 <laughs> right. talk about this stuff yeah, in Proverbs. No, because, because you can't be slothful when it comes yeah, to us as right. men. Yeah. Right. If there's a difference. Yeah. And I know a lot of times society and told everybody mm-hmm. they can do this and they can do mm-hmm. that. And, now, and that's the devil, too. A lot of times they projecting these things to our people, and, yeah. and it's not right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and as men of God, we're supposed to say something. That's right. We can't be like Adam. That's you got to right. say something. Got to say something. And that's our biggest problem. Men will not say something a lot of times. Yeah. I've seen that happen. You've seen oh, it, too. Man, they won't say nothing. Won't they just sit nothing. in the living room, just everything. <laughs> so how many times a week do y'all do Bible study at your church? Okay. Uh-oh. Well, she right. Get, she fit to get it. Hey, no she problem. She fit to no. get you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> To my before the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Tell me. Yeah. Well, okay. okay. Wednesday night in the Word. Okay. okay. Uh, right now we're doing virtual Bible study. And um, now what we're doing, my wife, you know, to keep everybody connected, because we are back in person worship. Yeah. We, yeah. we did it. Uh, we came back June, the third Sunday in June of 2020. And so, um, um, but when we came back, we still on phase one because we open up in phases. We just have okay. Sunday morning worship where we all come back mm-hmm. um, from 10 to 11, do 90 minutes of worship. And then Wednesday night is the Wednesday night in the Word is on virtual. But now uh, my wife is now doing a, a women's group mm-hmm. uh, of books, Bible study. Mm-hmm. So that's on Thursday. And I'm bringing back men Monday. Okay. Where I have all the men, yeah, yeah, and we do we call it like locker room talk, yeah, 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 yeah. Where we uh, also mentor young adults, yeah. trying to navigate the older men is trying to help the younger yeah. men, and some vice versa. So, so you can say we have a corporate Bible study where everybody get a fed on Wednesdays, and then we have something for everybody. The women have theirs on Thursday with uh, my wife, and then the men on Mondays. The That's one thing, thing I've always said about the pandemic, yes. You know, I'm sorry for all the lives that were lost during the pandemic because that is a tragedy. Yes, yes. But the thing that I do love about a pandemic is the fact that there are more Bible studies being held mm-hmm. in today's society. Because I've always said that church, when you go to Sunday church, you know, the building and so forth, that people go there and they sit down and listen to this preacher preach. But a lot of them, it's like a motivational speech. Okay. They're not really getting fed the word as mm-hmm. they should be. Mm-hmm. As in, when they go back home and they need to know themselves how to study this Bible, how to right. study the word. Not all Because I usually always hate when people come to me and say, oh, my pastor said such and such and such, and my pastor said such and such. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, um, what did you get from what you read? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, my pastor said such and such and such. <laughs> I'm like, did you read it yourself? Did you get an right. understanding for yourself? And I always feel like, they're, not all churches do this, but a lot of them right. do. Yeah. They're leading them to, to follow that person, which is, yes, that's a shepherd, mm-hmm. but at the same time, lead them to when a pandemic. Yeah. If they were teaching them how to study this word themselves that's right. and not so depend on them, that's right. then when this pandemic hit, it wouldn't be such 
devastation in their own homes. I agree with you. You understand I, what oh, I mean? Yeah, I definitely understand because that's why I, I try to teach them on people. You know, you can't always depend on me because you can't always get the pastor. That's right. But you I've know? heard pastors say that, you know, and this is a funny thing, and I do understand that, but I'm like flipping on everybody. They said, okay, if you check on Bible study days, you have, okay, you have 200 people in the church. On Wednesday for Bible study, you might have 20 people or <laughs> yeah. 10 people turn That's up. That's right. That's right. But I'm like, okay, so why don't you flip it? Sunday, everybody come out ready to mm -hmm. hear them. Let's trick them and have Bible study on that Sunday. Yeah. Some teacher what, what, teach what, what that is. aspect. What that is. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, this is one thing. And this is another, uh, you know, like I said, the pandemic was hard because a lot of people lost jobs, like lost loved ones and things. But also a good thing came out of the pandemic is to use our God-given creativity. Right. So now, you know, hey, I, we have Bible study anytime. I sometimes I will do it on a Saturday. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah, sometimes yeah. you know, try to break out of that norm and the trend, exactly. the traditional part. But yeah, that is true. That's why I always call Wednesday night Believers' Night. Mm. Amen. The believers would come, yeah, because like, yeah, yeah. they want that word. Sunday right. was not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they want to get you know. I guess so. You know, Sundays because we've been trained in our mind that Sunday is just the day, so everybody come. Doesn't it's matter. tradition. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. A lot of people need so, to get out of that tradition right. of doing way of, you know, serving the Lord. Yeah, right. I, I believe that's, I mean, it's easy for you to say that now that you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when you was 20, you didn't say that. I know, right? I didn't say okay, that. So, well, I think sometimes we'd be so hard on these youngsters. And I remember when I was 20. Somebody had to open I, mean, your I eyes. ain't had it come from down that hill <laughs> with that Bible. Uh, if, if my uh, Al, Alvin come with that Bible, I was going to put my beer up and I was going to wait till he left. And if he talking, I'm like, man, I can't wait till he leaves so I can get this joint or this blunt out of here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But then we get. Older, I ain't gonna say how old. We get a little older, and, <laughs> and we decide we gonna be Christians. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna think about all of the stuff that we went through. And I think that's right. something we gotta do in order to help people. We gotta meet them where they at. Right. We gotta be able to understand how to create a bridge instead mm -hmm. of a wall. Yeah. And yeah. we gotta help these young people to see that it's okay. You yeah. where you at? But God can get you right yeah. there. You know what I mean? Well, I know, really think well, that. Well, you know what? It was, what's going to take it is us being real. Yeah, yeah, 100. You know, you got, where you, you, came from. you see how I yeah. call it? You say real, I say 100. Yeah, 100. <laughs> yeah, I do it all. You know, my kid. <laughs> but we got to. Yeah, we got, got to yeah. be real. Yeah, yeah. You got to be transparent. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's y'all word, and transparent. I don't, I don't I mind. Y'all keep saying transparent. Yeah. Mine's algorithm, that. but y'all go on saying the You got to know the algorithm, y'all. Oh, you got to be so transparent. I hear you. Go on, do your thing. People will relate to you more when you when you not act like you're all the way up here and that you. You know, you started out here, yeah. But exactly. you have to know, like for me, God has changed my life. Whereas I'm not so quick to anal. judge. No, not about that okay. part. And I'm not so anal. Like, like I see you doing something wrong, or mm -hmm. I see, and I'm coming to you and say, "Hey, the Bible says X, Y, Z," or I'm talking to you and so forth. And because I love you, as I see you as a brother in Christ, and I love you, I want you to change right now. I want you to do what I'm saying because I know that. What I'm telling you is the truth, and mm -hmm. it's good for you. Mm -hmm. But I've realized that planting the seed and leave it alone and let God do his work mm -hmm. because we don't know right. what God has in store for you and what you have to go through before. Because I've realized that whatever you say to a person, mm -hmm. don't think that they, even subconsciously, they still hear you. Oh, yeah. They may not realize that they've heard you, yeah. but subconsciously they have. And whenever it's time for God to... Bring that back to the remembrance. Yeah. It could be ten years down the line. Well, they will bring it back. Well, you, you're looking at you're looking at these two. Well, yeah. Said, yeah, think about it. That's yeah. why I say with my kids. That's why I tell the people in my church, leave the young people alone. Mm -hmm. they, they listen because listen, just because they write notes or texting or so, it's the word when the word go out. Yeah, I, I never forget my life. shout out to Anna V. R.I.P. R.I.P. Anna V. Shout out to Anna V. She took me to Ebenezer and uh, she sung. Oh, you were the Ebenezer? Yeah, yeah, it, down in Lodi. Yeah. She <laughs> took me to Ebenezer, and she sung loud. 
And everybody was looking at us, and that was so embarrassing. Shout out to Annie V. Wallace, man. She took me up there, man. And everybody, all of them, you know, all them Hines and Loves and Hodges, yeah. them the ones right there, boy. Back in the day, yeah. they give it to you, man. But let me tell you, the, the Bible is right. Train up a child in the way it should go. And they won't depart from, from it. it. So, you you know, we had some detours. Yeah, yeah. You know, you had your yeah, you struggle, bump but, in the road. But when it came, when that light came, yeah. It brought back everything, and I remember the Holy well, me, Spirit came back and brought the stuff when we was you right, you right. You know but, what I'm saying? So that's why it's so very important to train up the child. Just yeah. like you know, he always say, he, he said, um, anybody or anybody would say this and say that because yeah. he was listening. He, was he might listening. not. Yeah. He might be waiting for them to leave so he can go back <laughs> oh, to smoke yeah, and drink. Yeah. Yeah. But he can repeat everything exactly. that they said yeah. back oh, yeah. then because yeah. you yeah. were listening. Yeah. Let me let me let me ask you a question. Is it Reverend Charles Colbert? Yes, Pastor Colbert. Pastor yes, Colbert. Yeah, Let me ask you a question, man. Uh, so, have you ever, your, your John Mark and, and, and Barnabas moment ever happened? Uh, you ever had to had if, issues with anybody? You know, John Mark and Barnabas had issues with Paul, and they went back home. That was his sister's son. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. John Mark. Oh, John Mark didn't want to act right. right. And so have you ever had that type of situation where, and I just want to be real for a minute yeah. because we can't be, I mean, where you went another way because mm -hmm. you and this person just couldn't figure oh, it out. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, and we times. we got to say that part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we I, got, and, and you know, I, I come from a different side. I'm yeah. always flipping and moving around because I want to help somebody. <laughs> right, somebody right. might be with, have gotten with somebody and went through those situations. Because mm -hmm. I look at the Bible as a way of, okay, if it happened with John, Mark, and Barnabas, and if it happened with Paul and yeah. him, and they went different ways, and yeah. later on they linked they back up. Either. Well, Barnabas didn't. But John Mark, he, he right. in, in, in Second yeah. Timothy, he'd say, hey, tell him to come because he's good for the ministry. Yeah. Have it been a John Mark, Barnabas, Paul moment in your, <laughs> yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Is yes, that good? Yes, Is that a good question? You'd be, you're, supposed good be, question. you're supposed to be like, hey, hey, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we got disagreements. You know, yeah. you have disagreements, but it's how you disagree. Okay. And a lot of people think just because you're Christian. And you like, don't have you know, these issues. Yeah, you don't have these issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have issues, you know, especially when you got denominations. Already. You know, that costs one denomination says, uh, well, I want you to do this. I want you to believe Yeah, I don't want you to wear no dress, and, and I don't want you to wear no makeup. I can help you a little bit. You need some help? Uh, don't come up here. You wear a hat no. whenever you pray. Well, not, yeah. not even that. I'm not just even. saying these yeah. are different but things. They, that but they are. Yeah, we don't listen to music. We smoke cigarettes right. outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All that. Let's yeah. go. So you have your disagree, But you got to understand, we're still part of the body of there Christ, go. and we got to be careful with that, okay? Mm -hmm. The Bible said, and, and um, I think I taught on this a few weeks, he said, if it's a, if it is possible. Yeah, yeah. Follow peace with all men. Yeah, 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 yeah. No man should see the Talk Lord. about it. Yeah, but see, but that's the key word, if. Okay. Which means it may not be possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. it was with yeah. Mark and Barnabas. And, and you know, that's they right. tried to have but peace. It, it, yeah, but it, it, it. See, a lot of people skip that word. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, when yeah. I, when I saw that, they're like, uh, uh huh, light came on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to learn how to handle disagreements, conflicts. That's it. That's but it. do it the way God, Godly. Because we are, we still. People don't. Flesh. You know what the I don't funny think, thing is? Go ahead, man. Um, when he, everything that I've seen is always because of tradition, the way how people think, the way how people do. Right. And or somebody said to me once a long time, I gave me this analogy of it. You say your mom always, you know, fried chicken in 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 a skillet, in a certain type of skillet. And you've always seen cast her do down, that. Cast, cast down, iron, iron iron cast down. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay, when you got older, you got your own place. I'm I'm gonna go buy a cast iron skillet to do the same thing. But you never ever asked her why <laughs> she would fry that chicken in the cast iron. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Skillet. Just but you it. just did it, and it passed down from generation to generation doing it, but nobody really asked why. Right. So it's the same thing with these denominations and all of that. Because um, I grew up Anglican, okay. but um, and people pass it down saying that you better be an Anglican too, you can't go to no other denomination, <laughs> da, 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 whatever. But And they could follow in these traditions and not realize where the religions came from, right. where the denominations came from, and yeah. all of that. Till so I was blessed to go to a Christian college, and they do Bible history. Yeah. And I when like I started that. seeing where all of this um, stem from, stem from, I'm like, oh, that's man made. I'm like, I, mm. I don't, I don't worship man made stuff. I'm like, and that was even before we even spoke about certain things. I just yeah. got that in history class, and I, ever since that, I was like, oh no, I, 
I'm not an Anglican. I'm not any of these different denominations. Right, right, I, yeah. I'm a follower of Christ, and yeah. I love him, and that's all it well, is. Well, the Bible says that you, Paul said you, you're in Christ. He never said mm-hmm. you're even a Christian. Mm-hmm. That's what he would say. Yeah. If any man okay. be in Christ, right. he's a new creature. He starts to say that. You know, mm-hmm. let this same mind be in you that right. was in Christ Jesus. Right. See, you, right. know, you see what right. I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's a way that you can love God, and it might not look like everybody else that's doing it, too. Yeah. I, I mean, but they still love God. But, you know what I mean? But see, when we were reading, sorry, no, but when no. we were reading um, Corinthians the other day, with Paul, I realized that division was from even back then oh, yeah. in the most Bible. Definitely, most definitely. And we know division comes from Satan. He comes That's right. Yeah. And That's... division, tradition can be a part of oh, yeah. division because yeah. of all of these different traditions that's passed down from generations, this sect, this sect. And that's what killed Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You see what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Even, yeah. Where race, but even where that's racism, right. yeah, yeah. even with racism, that's a yeah. division, that's a tradition that's right. passed down from generation to generation that yeah. nobody's willing to change. Mm-hmm. Some have, but yeah. not everybody. Well, well, the thing you got to understand when you say that division, that's out of First Corinthians chapter 1 and 10, and he right. goes on into that, but the division came. But then it goes into chapter 2, and it starts seeing why, because mm-hmm. they start looking at Paul and looking at Apollos Apollos. and trying mm-hmm. to compare the two trying, and, trying and being carnal, carnal. He said, yeah. are you not yet babes? Yeah. And then as they done that, when they got over to chapter 3, he starts to tell them about how to build a wise master builder, mm-hmm. you know, and basically he was a wise master builder, Paul right, said, right. but he said Apollos would come and, and he would build on that foundation. Yeah. But he said, you had to be very careful how you build on that foundation. Exactly. And when he said that, now you got to think about what he's doing. He says that some build gold, mm-hmm. some build silver, uh, precious, uh, no stone, mm-hmm. uh, precious wood, hay or stubble. It's, it's in, I'm paraphrasing, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, when it said that, he says that all the work would be tried and uh, a lot would be burned, mm-hmm. but the, but they work would be burned, but themselves, they themselves would be saved. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. See, this is stuff that we don't, we got to well, look at it, it yeah. and understand that there's a way you might be doing this and doing that. It might not even be worth nothing, but God <laughs> still got you. Ain't that yeah, good? That's I good. mean, that's, I mean, you, you, Gotta awesome. be honest, because I'm so glad. I know I had some some stuff in there that had to be burnt on out. You but know? you will not know these things until you study the Bible you for yourself. Yeah, you show yourself yeah. approved. Well, exactly. Well, let me take it up a notch. You know what about the Hebrew Israelites, the guys that we met in Chicago, and I seen them out there chanting, and they had they they were, and the, and the people who've come to me, and you've seen the people that come to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think about that? And and far as. Uh, the belief system of, 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 of the fact that uh, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the black people are the yeah. Hebrew Israelites, and we the true Hebrews. Where do you go when people come to you with that? Because I know they do. Yeah, some come, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you but, say? I mean, we, I, I, to me personally, I do believe that we came from Abraham, the okay. Hebrews. I believe okay. that you know. I, I'm listening that to. That's my personal. Yeah, of opinion. course, and as you should. I mean, if you it. want to be, you. Yeah. <laughs> why not? You know, it's a that's a game changer. Right. Well, we you, all came from uh-huh. from Abraham. If we Amen. are, um, what we read and the if other you day, be a, it, you and heirs, yeah. but it don't right. really matter. Promise. That's the part right. that, that I, I want to get to. Right. Is it don't really matter right. though? The reason right. I say that because well, it did matter to them because they flipped and made him white. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it don't really matter. You know because. Gentile, you know, Jew, Jew or Jew, any really, of that yeah. pretty much didn't mean anything. Let me that when it's all said and done, of course, okay, and this is what I tell you, people, like the Jews, you know, you know, we, they were God's people. It still is. As we were Gentiles. No, I don't know about that. You just I said mean, we no, were Hebrew. I, I mean, well, you're well, confusing well, I mean, me. No, 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 I'm a Hebrew. Yeah, I'm a Jew, I know, too. I know, I mean, but what I'm saying is. That's what no, got I'm Nick, Cam- I'm that's what got Nick Cannon yeah. kicked off. <laughs> off no, I'm not, out right I'm, not, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going that way. No, this, I'm not going that way. What I'm saying is is that uh, because uh, the, they didn't want to follow the, you know, believe Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You biblically talking. Bit of, I'm yeah. just talking biblically. Yeah. Right. And um, so that's when Paul came and said, there's no Jew. Yeah. There's no Greek. Male, no female. Yeah, no female. Because when it's all said and done, when we leave this earth, I, to me, what I read and what I believe, I don't believe Jesus is going to say, because you've been a Baptist, yeah. because you've been a uh, Church of Christ, you've been this, you've been that. 
He just said, well done. Yeah, yeah. Now good and, and faithful, faithful servant. Faithful servant. That's yeah. all I want to yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I that's get, how, that's, uh, get these I get titles. It. I get You're it. not going to say bishop, reverend. Yeah. You know, what they call you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No. Just so E. Well yeah. Hey, but but yeah. see, here's the thing. I want to go back to that question again. Okay. Because I, I really, there. I mean, that question is, is really geared toward the fact of someone that may be being manipulated or misled mm -hmm. uh, in the feeling like because they are Hebrews and, and, and the, the, these people don't believe in, in, in Jesus either, mm -hmm. the Hebrews. If you go and look at it, a lot of them, the, the guys that are saying that, they only right. believe in the Old Covenant. And, the old and covenant. it goes back to the fact of, and, and it's nothing new because it was people even the Pharisees and the Sadducees, Sadducees didn't believe in anything really mm -hmm. about the resurrection, but the Pharisees and the scribes, mm -hmm. uh, they believed in the old covenant, covenant and the old covenant alone. They didn't believe Jesus was the Messiah. So it's nothing new. Yeah. It's the same thing same, really. Yeah, yeah. And so there's a, I think there's a, 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 a zeal for God, but not mm -hmm. according to the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's mm -hmm. the same exact right, thing. Right. So that's all I was asking because, I, I was just asking because there's a lot of hoorah going on with that right now. And yeah. there's a lot of people being pulled away seen, from Christianity. And, and, yeah. and I, I've gotten those calls. You know that. Mm -hmm. And and people have said, how can you believe? I said, look, I'm riding with Jesus now. Yeah. She said, <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I'm talking to the people in Minnesota. And they say, I said, look, I'm riding yeah. with Jesus. Have you? Do you know him? Yeah. And the power of his resurrection. And the mm -hmm. fellowship of his suffering. suffering. Do you know him like mm -hmm. that? See, a lot of people don't know. And no, then when somebody know. come to them with a little it's knowledge, a, yeah. they can mislead them. Yeah. But somebody like when me, they, they can't come. When yeah. they come with fancy words, that's well, really you, what you it is. Enticing words, but, yeah. but, but just the whole covenant on hold. If you stop before Jesus... And you don't, mm -hmm. and you don't believe in the resurrection, and mm -hmm. you don't believe that that Jesus has came. You you turn back into that same situation that Ishmael, yeah. thinking yeah. that he was the chosen one, right. or, or or heck, uh, maybe even Esau, right. who who, right. who, who or, you know God yeah. didn't come through those, yeah. but they had children. Exactly. But you know what? The Bible, if we can see it every day, we see it on New Orleans, It's fulfilling itself. Yeah, it's fulfilling yeah. itself. Yeah, so, I agree so with that. So many people are being deceived. Like when Paul wrote the letter, who 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 fooled you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who, who bewitched you? Who bewitched you? That's, that's it, right there. Who bewitched you? Yeah, like you said, with the, with all the stuff that's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, you was, you well, you was raised, but see, but it goes back to what you were saying. They never had them for themselves. Right. They never asked where they never went deeper to find out who Jesus is in their life and what he came to do, or in the Word. Yeah. And so if you know the Word, you just see all this stuff is just. For the Bible is just fulfilling itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we shouldn't be shocked of anything that's going on. Amen. We really uh, shouldn't. What do you say to that young person? I asked you this question. What uh, what what would the the Carnet Colbert of you you what you by forty nine? Yeah, forty nine. Uh, about fifty. 50. May second. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What would you say to the twenty one year old Charles Colbert? Oh, man. It was funny. I was thinking about that. You know, <laughs> you had a you you get to talk to him sitting right there. You know, if, if <laughs> he ain't gonna listen well, to I'm you. Gonna you what, he gonna look at you like what? In, in fact, I'm trying to tell my name. Say I got a Charles Colbert Jr. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's right. That age, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, I want, I, want, but, I got a couple things I want to say about oh, that too. Okay, okay. But but I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would just tell him get some wisdom. Yeah. Catch simple. wisdom. Keep it simple. Girl. Yeah, just get wisdom. But right, because if if I had the wisdom at 25, mm -hmm, 21 mm -hmm. that I have now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, listen, listen to now because I did listen. I did. I hung around with my grandfather. He was a good dude. And all, and all the old people. I did. Yeah. But there was certain things that I just I busted moves too quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and then just I, I wish I would have just. Was in God more, yeah, yeah. You know, in my twenties, yeah. yeah. You know, like I said, I was pretty yeah. good dude, but I was still was a rascal. They used to laugh at, but no, I'm I was cold. A yeah, them colds, Charles. Uh, <laughs> dude, you remember them colds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used Kathy Cole. I used to mm -hmm. like her. Shout out to Kathy Cole. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's that, that's good but stuff. Just wisdom. Yeah, yeah just wish, that's good uh, stuff. Good wisdom. But it comes with time, though. Wisdom comes with time and and going through things. So even when a young person and you hear them talking, they sound so wise, but they haven't been through anything. Right, right, right. You, you know that, like yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing is, uh, yeah, you do have to go through. Like, uh, I always say this, it's some things I try to protect and guard my kids from, but they got to carry their own cross. Exactly. You know, okay? I think. Exactly. But if, but it's still, if, but if I can just get some of our young men and young ladies to get, just catch a hold of some of the wisdom, yeah. you know, that can save some time, some yeah. years yeah. off their life. And, yeah. and, and it has, I have seen some uh, where we have the, what we call um, young men of valor, yeah. uh, where we, we take and mentor young men. Yeah. We got some great young men at our church and yeah. grow up and done some great things. And I saw some of them, they, they caught a hold to it. Yeah, and keep doing good things. Yeah. I, I think so. it's important, man, to 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 cherish those moments for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Far as when you dealing with these 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 circumstances, situations, um, have you? I mean, how many uh, how many times do you do you get those calls at night, man? Do you get those calls at night? Very seldom. Okay. Okay. So my, what'd you come up with well, just calls? calls of people, you know, uh, had going through it, you know, being, mm. being that the people is depending mm. on you. It's a, you yeah. know, you yeah. know, it's uh, a, it's uh, a, it's uh, a, uh, I tell most pastors that come in here, you know, the good shepherd is willing to lay down his life mm -hmm. yeah. for yeah. the sheep. See, yeah. see, there's some hirelings now. Yeah. Don't, oh, don't yeah. play with me now. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm watching, I'm reading, yeah. I'm listening, and I'm sinking deep right. into the word. Mm. And the hirelings, when the wolf come and he yeah, goes flee. You know, he, but yeah, the good right. shepherd. He'll stay with him. He mm. willing yeah. to lay down yeah. his life yeah. for those go, sheep. And go after the one and leave the 99 behind. He'll do whatever for yeah. those sheep. Yeah, now what I mean by uh, seldom, um, I get calls. Okay. No, you talking about when you said late at night. No, you think no, about I a woman. Man, the you talking about a woman, man? <laughs> no. What the heck, bro? This no. man' mind is way over there. <laughs> I ain't talking about no woman, man. <laughs> I'm just no, but I'm talking about um, you know, uh, it's very. It got to be like a nine one one. I had a couple of nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, I mean, some serious, serious things, business going on. Um, some things going on with kids. Yeah, and yeah, and that's, serious. Like that, that's serious. That's you know. serious. But yeah, I get a lot of calls all the time. All the time, just you know, they you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you make yourself available. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, because you have oh, some yeah. churches that you cannot reach the preacher oh, yeah. at all. <laughs> you might reach the secretary, the, 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 the secretary, secretary, or you know no, what I mean, yeah, I know, but no, you know, we we a small man, so I'm, I'm touchable, you know, everybody knows, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but, but that, but I, I love people. I say, if you get close to me, I don't know if you smell, I smell like sheep. Cause I'm a shepherd. <laughs> I know that's cause I, right. Cause I love my sheep. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I, I get down there with them. Right. You know, yeah. I, I um, sometimes, um, you know, like some of the brothers, and I know, and I'm getting older. They say, yeah. Yeah, "Pastor, you don't need to be doing this," but I can't help it because it's who I am. I yeah, get, I get dirty. Well, well I, I think get, you know. You know what I'm saying? I'm if, if, if it's feeding, we have outreach ministry. I mean, feeding, whatever it is, I'm involved. Yeah, I pray. Yeah, that's a good I question. Pray. You know, some some pastors don't pray. Yeah, well, I, pray. I'm asking. Do you? <laughs> I mean, are you pray. guys doing stuff in in the community? I didn't even oh, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, when COVID hit, y'all, 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 y'all fell back. Asking that. Did y'all fall oh, back? No, no, ministry never. I stopped. mean, did y'all y'all didn't go out to the people and start Listen. trying to help the people who was going through it when the when the ice was on the ground? Let me tell you something. Did you help anybody? Let me tell you something. We got to think on Matthew 25 alive. All right, yeah. outreach. That's all we try to do is do Jesus' ministry. When He said, "I was hungry, you fed yeah, me." Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was naked, you clothed me. Yeah. When I was in prison, you visited me. Okay. Ministry don't stop. We don't make excuses. We make adjustments. Now, if I don't ask this question, people gonna get mad at me because I always like oh. that. You know, it's a deep one. Uh, oh, okay. We finna get into that money now. We finna get into that bag. You know, Judas Iscariot carried the bag. Now, let's talk for a minute here. You're in my bag. Now, yeah, I want to know about the money part of okay. it. I mean, are hmm. we really, really? You know, I'm a different type of guy. When mm -hmm. I look at Barnabas and, and the way that the ministry was in the New Testament, he made sure that was balanced. Yeah. Is your ministry balanced over there? Are you making sure everybody is, nobody's going without, that, that everybody's, you know, pretty much I'm, I'm not going to manipulate these people. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, you understand what I, I just I said? Don't, I don't believe in being slick. The Bible yeah. speaks of that. Yeah. That's yeah, only I, I have to ask that because my, my, my fans, they know I'm tough on these. All the ministers that come through, I have to ask them about that because yeah, right. in the New Covenant, it, 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 
touches on a lot of things, but tithing is one that's a mm -hmm. really old covenant teaching to where it says you will be cursed with a curse. And some mm -hmm. people teach people that they curse today. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. Yeah, be I careful. believe that you should be giving from your heart. That's what I feel. Right. I mean, right. the woman gave too much. She gave all that right. she had. Yeah. Really more than a tenth when you think about it. Based but on, she gave from her heart. That's right. Your love of God, yeah, you're going to give. I mean, yeah. I don't pressure yeah. people give, especially now. As I always say, the way things are um, going, I say, hey, those of you that the pandemic done hit hard, don't worry, we got you. There you go. But those that have been blessed, yeah, come on, because that's how we're able to bless others. Bless yeah, yeah, to no, be I get it. You, I get it. You got to be blessed to be able yeah, to be, be a blessing. blessing. That's how right. How can you bless somebody if you're, you're not blessed? If you're come broke, on, I'm just gonna be real. Yeah, no, but you're the right. The thing is, just you say, you got to be a proper balance. And so, yes, we have what we call our, our we have outreach center. Okay. Where we have clothes. You can come. We have yeah. hygiene. So yeah. anything. Uh, Do you have you to sign an application job? to get your, your bills no, paid? You gotta, Be honest now. No, no, we're not that. that <laughs> mad, not, come on. <laughs> You're you trying to, <laughs> that's what brother called me <laughs> saying. We had to sign an application. I said, what well, happened down there? I, don't, I, I can't speak for nobody <laughs> I'm else. I'm just saying it's happening, I just know what we tried. I'm just saying it's happening, okay? It, I know a lot and, of stuff And, and my, my, my people say, I, we gave everything we had to them. But when it came down to it, we needed help. We couldn't get enough. Yeah, hey, I've heard that. I've heard that. So these are discussions that they they sometimes can be. some people like to only go to the smaller church they don't go to mega mega churches because they run into those problems well and, but at the end of the day i think a little bit of the small churches do things too i'm sure i'm they not for the sit there and play yeah. with y'all yeah. 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 sure you know what i'm do. saying because yeah. i know already i went mm -hmm. over to a guy's house i got kicked out of his little small church because mm -hmm. i told him you know that he need to go to work. Yeah. I said, if a man don't work, he should not eat. Right. And they well, kicked me, on he kicked me out. Church, he kicked me out. Kick out. He kicked me out. I like to get kicked out because I ask a lot of questions. And I get up and say something. I, if I don't agree, I'm, I'm kind of disruptive. I ain't going to lie to you. But at the end no, of the you day. You go over to the side. And no, said, Let's I, that's the first talk time. Talk that's yeah. the first time. You know what? You know the rules. You're, <laughs> the second time, I'm going to expose you with one no, somebody second, with me. Yeah, I was about to say you got to have and somebody with time, you. And the third time, I'm in there with, hey, man, y'all let me tell you this. But no, I think I think that, and that's scripture. But yeah. but I think that um, I think that when you it's a it's a it's not an easy job. No, it's not easy. When you say I'm called to be something wow. of a leader, and I'm very hard on leadership. You know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll go and say God said to the prophet. He said said this, and he ain't said nothing. I'm all over that thing in Ezekiel yeah. 13. Well, I'm but I'm being real with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that a lot of times we so busy trying to act like everybody doing the right thing mm -hmm. that we letting people be misled. Right, right. So I think right. that certain people are called, just like Paul, yeah. just like John said, they started off with us. You many see what I'm saying? Many are called, but few are chosen. Correct. But the thing I, I just want to say is that ministry didn't die out for us being uh, uh, in the defense of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. Paul did it. John did it. Mm -hmm. James just was talking about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> James would say stuff to you mm -hmm. or to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, Paul, and, and when you look at uh, Jesus did it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Was, yeah. that he would call you out about things that was right. contrary to God. Right. And I think we can't sleep on that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's a place for that. It may not be your ministry. Mm -hmm. It may be mine. You mm -hmm. see what I'm yeah, everybody has so, like so everybody thing. has a thing that God right. gives them. It may be something that, that frustrates your grace, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. you have to say something about it. Yeah. So uh, it's a good thing, man. Yeah, like, that, like that's said, why you think about it. I mean, God always did it. I mean, think about it. He used Paul. Paul, um, he his nature was different than Peter. Correct, for sure. You know, all this, they all had different, and so that's why we need everybody. Yeah, that's why we don't need all this fighting. We need to be together and, and definitely uh, come together as the body of Christ. Amen. But, but like you said, yeah, it's a it's not an easy job. No, I always good. say it's one job that I wouldn't recommend, but it's one job I wouldn't give up. There it is. But I like the fact that they had so many different personalities because when we as individuals read the Bible, we can identify with, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Paul or I'm a Peter. Yeah. Or even like earlier that. when you said yeah. Jesus, when he was on earth, he was man. So he showed weakness in some yeah. areas. Yeah. He showed That's a ministry. the yes. things he, he showed how a human should be yeah. Amen. here on earth in following yeah. his footsteps Weird. that he didn't act like, Oh, I'm so perfect. And I'm so this right. and I'm so that. And, I'm untouchable. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have not a high priest that cannot be touched, touched by the right. feelings of our infirmities because right. he knows exactly when I, when I was in a dark place in my life, that's one thing that it was my faith that got me, man. Amen. It was my faith where I knew the will of God and what I was going through was not his will. Yeah. So that's where faith kicks in. See, that's why you got to really know you have. And I was just 
uh, in my car, and I was just crying, and I just told, told the Lord. I said, Lord, I know this is not your will, but one thing I do know, I know that you know exactly how I feel. Amen. So that when gives you were me going comfort. Through that was that after you were saved and a and, and a pastor or before? I wasn't a pastor. Okay, but I was saved. Okay, but have okay. you cried mm-hmm. since you've been a pastor? Yeah, because I yeah. cried the other day. Man. Yeah, I was, I was on the I, couch. I, I, I was about to cry now. When I thought about. It. See, I had two questions for you. I had two <laughs> questions for you. I was crying on you the couch. No, I was like, wait a minute. See, one of my questions. Let me start with the, the, the easier one first before I get to the harder one. No. Oh. Um, the easier one is. Um, going back to the counseling part. Okay. Um, you and your wife counsel mm-hmm. and counsel married couples, but I know you're a human being. So when you're going through your own issues during this time, do you ever say to um, the people you're counseling, well, at this moment, I can't counsel you because I'm not at a right place in my mind mm-hmm. to do this for you. Oh, yeah. So we have someone else to step yeah. in. You know, yeah. Yeah. how I'm does that, that work? I probably couldn't be no, I mean, it depends. I mean, we haven't. Yeah, thank, I can't, God, thank God that we haven't had. Uh, yeah, I mean, because of my wife and I, you know, has personal issues or anything like that. Thank God we haven't had experience in that yet. But we've had uh, situations where uh, we had to say, well, you know what? That's kind of we, we got to refer you to somebody, and it, and it helped, and they understood. And so I think your question was, who counseled a counselor? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, like that. Kind of, no, because you know, I think sometimes, so too. sometimes you can even. You can even help yourself, but sometimes you need that time to step back and oh, regroup yeah. and not have people constantly calling you or oh, yeah. sometimes well, something that you have me, to go me say and do this. It yeah. with your wife and, yeah, yeah. This, uh, you know, it's no called sabbatical. Well, I, Take I, a I, sabbatical. That yeah. I, don't, I, I guess I'm different because I'm, I'm so caught up in the fact that the Holy Spirit is so real mm-hmm. that I feel like he knocks everything out no matter what it is. When you step up for God and you're doing mm-hmm. it for God, I feel like he intervenes in those moments because if I went by what I felt in my emotions and what I was going through, I wouldn't do a lot of things that I do. I have to get past those things a lot of times. Mm-hmm. You know, he told them not to think of what they say when they're coming in that moment. Y'all, mm-hmm. y'all read that mm-hmm. part, didn't you? Oh, you talking about? Let me see. Like, like when you're speaking to somebody, and and anytime you go to speak to somebody, it God need to be the one leading that conversation. Oh yeah, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable. So, <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if I'm going looking at my issues, yeah. that was a lot of times I oh, wouldn't speak. Yeah. So you talking? You understand where yeah, I'm coming yeah, from? Right, right. So I can't, I, I have to step up and speak when it's time oh, for me to yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're talking about, if you're talking now, I'm talking about, about if somebody has an issue and they're coming to me, mm-hmm. I got to put my issues to the side. I'm just being real. Right. Well, yeah, because you've been called. Oh, you've been called. I'm, I'm trying to get but what both no, no, of y'all no, are saying. No, we're talking. Think, it's just a whole conversation. I, I think I'm, I'm trying to. Go ahead, go ahead. I see both yeah. what you're saying. I see too. both sides because you are right. Yeah, I mean, there's many times even when I had to step up to the podium. Yeah, I'm hurting. Yeah, I'm grieving. Yeah, but then that's when God, He's with me. I remember right. my grandmother always telling me, He's not gonna let you fall. He'll never He's leave not. you. Know, and safety. the Holy, that's when I that Holy Spirit but you know what? show up. But see, that's yeah, that's what you say. You depend on the, that's when the it Holy has to show up come because I'm out of myself and, and I've seen bam, where it just there it it is. But then there are times where I do like Jesus. Even Jesus when He did ministry and virtue came out of his body. He had to go to the hills. Yeah, he had yeah, to go yeah. to the mountain. He had yeah. to get away yeah. from the crowd get to regroup it, and get refresh. It. Get it. So uh, that's that's. That, that's I get what where you were coming from with your yeah. perspective. I, right. I see it. I, that, see it. So. I see it. I see it. It's just and a, you got to because I can't bleed on the people. Yeah, but I, if you follow what I'm saying, right. even I tell my leaders that we're. I mean, you know, when you're hurting, that's why they need uh, grief recovery. Because I can't afford you bleeding all over everybody if you don't take care of your issues. You know, you might be hurting and grieving. Let's let's just try to work through that. And even myself. And thank God that I haven't had to the point where, and I thank God in His grace that where I do have to just I have to just get away. If it is, it's just for a moment. But I remember I had to go when I when I lost my father in law. It happens. And two days later, while I'm preparing at the wake, get a call. That one of the most important men in my life was my grandfather. My mom called me. I was in the bathroom getting ready to go to the wake for for my father in law, who how I succeeded him because uh, he founded the church, yeah. and that's how I became the the pastor. Mm-hmm. Um, what year was great that? Great man of God. May I ask that right? Two thousand seven. Okay, keep going. Man, and that was a great man of God. So here I am. I've got these emotions. He's gone. Then two days later, my grandfather gone. And then at the funeral, I had to 
you know, be with my wife, be with family. I'm dealing with the church family. We all grieving. I'm grieving. And at the same time, I'm thinking about my grandmother, my mother, oh, and yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the casket because I, and you I'm waiting on my again. brother, Felix. You know, he's an Air Force yeah, Academy yeah. at that time. I think he was in Florida. He, because he, there, no, there, nobody didn't want me to drive all the way to East Texas by myself, you know, dealing with because they know I'm gonna be driving. Yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah, 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 yeah. So while yeah. I had to go bury my father-in-law, at the same time my mind is, and then come back that Sunday. That was on a Saturday, Friday, with my father-in-law live Saturday to go to London, then come back Sunday to preach. Yeah, okay, yeah, right? yeah. That's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. So I have go a ahead. second question. Okay. Okay. Has there ever been a time in your life since you've been a pastor that you have? caught yourself or almost caught yourself like stepping out of character where example <laughs> example kirk franklin when oh. he cussed out his son um and he was taken out of character not to say in that exact example but have you ever caught yourself stepping out of character and how did you deal with it okay that's a, that's a great question um yes i have i mean did you cuss like sir. Frank? Did, <laughs> I mean, did, did you really let it rip like that? Man, no. let, me, let me tell you something. I, 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 I mean, you can answer that question, but I keep telling people I love Kurt Franklin music. I can sing, smile, even if you hurt, you just smile. And you we know. have the same views on what yeah, you're about to but, say. But you know what I'm about to say. Yeah, we have I, the I same think people view, right? commended him for doing what he did, disciplining his 30 some year old son. Mm. But I think the conversation needs to be had that he didn't address that situation. Right. right the language he used shouldn't right. have been used and mm -hmm. if i done I it i need to be pulled up on that mm -hmm. and if and if the world saying yeah it's cool he should have did with his son and i did yeah. the same thing that you in the flesh because yeah. we're trying to better our character right. and right. when satan that's a that's a deal between not me and my son but mm -hmm. me and satan right where he didn't pull me out of my situation of mm -hmm. me being a god-fearing man and yes. me Evil communication corrupts good manner. We right. know that's what the scriptures right. say. Right. He knows that. Right. So I think a lot of times uh, people was big up in the whole right. situation right. when when correction is so needed. Right. No, I, yeah, I'm not afraid to, uh, to answer that question. You be cussing all the time? No, nah, I'm not. not <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just not so that, so that Kirk Franklin did. I mean, you know, not to that degree, but, you know, I've done some things yeah. uh, that, that, you know, that I shouldn't. I'm not saying it. there's no big sin, little do sin. Do you mind giving an example? <laughs> Putting him all the way out there. What do you do? What do you do? I mean, do? It's just that, you know, when God tell me to, to do something um, that I didn't do, um, yeah. or just um, my temper did get out, I'm like, well, yeah. I shouldn't, I should have went off on, on him like that. Like yeah, like that. I did. You know, and yeah. not, not that I cussed, but I did go off. Yeah. Like, I'm just telling you. We're, you know, that's so why it's you, so important with the Holy Spirit. We're leaking. Every yeah. day. That's why I always say, and I tell my congregation is Christians, believers ought to be the most humble people in the world. Yeah. See, don't get see yeah. when you we I don't never want to get to the point where I'm just walking around like a peacock and my stuff. That's don't right. Stink. Because that's because, what that's the reason why I asked the question, because transparency is key and you want yes. people to know that you have to pull yourself up. Right. We're gonna slip sometimes, but you have to bring yourself yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, and 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 it just and that's why you do the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. See, and that's what keeps me going because it lists all of you know the fruit of the spirit ever, all of that. Well, wait and a you got to find out which wait one. A wait a minute. Every one has have something. Yeah, mine is yeah, patience. Yeah, mine is that I got to keep striving for. Love, long suffering, love, joy, peace. Yeah. Yeah, all so, those uh, are self control. Yeah. Or so, temperance. Yeah. So when I step out, you know, that's that, that what keeps me humble. And I just say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm, that's why David was known as a man after God's own heart. Mm -hmm. David was quick to repent. I mean, he's the only one that ever had that title. Wouldn't you love that, that title that God would put that on you, that he's a man after yeah, my yeah. own heart, after all that David did? Yeah, yeah. After all that he did. Yeah, yeah. But one thing about David, and I believe God put that title on him, is because. He was quick to repent. Lord, only you, only you have I done this to. Not you know, you think about the person. A clean heart, you know, renew a right spirit. spirit. But he said, Oh, you, oh Lord, I did this to you. Even yeah. though he did it to somebody else, he he felt that he did it to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, Blot out my transgressions. Yeah. You know, and so uh, but yeah, um I mean, we're 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 not perfect, but we're striving, you know, and um, 
You got to have character, integrity. Do we make mistakes? Yeah. And I'm quick to tell you, I'm probably going to make some more. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. But, but said, my thing is just mm -hmm. to make sure that you don't be cursing people out. Like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, and I, Kurt Franklin, shout out to Kurt, man. I need to get you on the show, but I'm going to tell you in your face. You know, yeah, basically that, 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 that we got to pull each other up. Yes. That's what good brothers that's, supposed that's to do. That's what it is, brothers in Christ. When you... Uh, but I ain't seen nobody pulling them up. Yeah. I, the world was like, yeah, you should have... No, y'all yeah, wanted to yeah, see that. Because right, y'all yeah. right, can relate to that. No, no, no. Because you... Yeah, I was you, you know, no, you relate to that because you talk that's like that. You do that. And yeah. so you think that's cool, but that's not cool. We oh. trying to be better at what we say. Exactly. We're trying to season our conversation. That was a time just here lately, a year or so ago, where I was cussing like a sailor. But I'm working on me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And and so with me saying that, I'm working on me. Mm -hmm. Then then I'm not going to applaud that. And it's a sensitive subject to some who's dealing with that too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. so basically I'm saying, yeah, I got to I got to change, you got to change, person, we got to change. So you want to stay from yeah. certain things to be better. Yeah, we you know? got to. But you see the how I look on um and this is my new perspective. I always say um when you see people and they are acting out of character or someone is like his son is coming at him in a certain way to mm -hmm. pull him out. I don't look at it as that's my son coming at me. I'm looking at the that's devil. the devil coming yeah. at me. Mm -hmm. Cause Cause spiritual the devil warfare. is going to, it's and you can't fight it physically. So you're cussing this man <laughs> out is not going to help because you are physically Shout out to Franklin. He in the flesh right trying now to fight a spiritual <laughs> war. Well, that's, that's why the word says we are not wrestling flesh with flesh and blood. blood. See, my fight is not with you. My fight is not with my husband. My fight is not with my wife. My fight is not with my children. But people it's don't recognize that. Don't but it's yeah. not even just I don't recognize that. It's it it happens in a quick of just yeah. instance like that. Just like if I pinch you, you're gonna jump because yeah. you react without thinking, yeah. and that's what people do when somebody come at you. You react yeah. without thinking, but right. but you have to train your mind to think it, anything that comes at you that is out of character yeah. that is not godlike right but do you that's remember the, what i said earlier devil. but you remember what i said earlier which one whatever you feed the most right that's what's going to come out in that situation mm -hmm. i believe it my grandma you said whatever in you come out like so you saying no, so I wait said, a minute wait, wait a minute no, wait a minute let I, me stop you right quick so you saying that Kurt Franklin is feeding. No, no, you just yeah. said that. No, no, you said, no, you said, said it. You said hey, it. You said it. Feed you mold. said you feeding it, so it came out. Hey. So you saying it's been it's been brewing. Hey, it it could be like okay. One time, <laughs> one time, my grandma, we was like somewhere, and uh, I was shocked to hear this person cuss. Oh yeah, Steve Harvey and, talks about and, that. And, While and, he was at church, he heard one by the church cuss. And, 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 and my grandma told me she wasn't shocked at all. She said, "Whatever in you gonna come out." <laughs> It's just simple like that, and that's just, and that is true. That, yeah. See, I love that. That's that yeah. wisdom yeah. talk. I yeah. told you I hung around my yeah. grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you, if you think about it, what's in you is gonna come out. It's gonna come that's out. That's why they always so say you Jesus can only pretend that. for so long. Yes, yeah, right. Because eventually you, you're gonna show your true. You're gonna colors. show your true colors. Jesus, you always that. gonna return to yourself. That's there why you when you're dating, I tell you when I date when I talk to my singles and stuff, I say y'all just lying on the first date. Everybody <laughs> lying. Everybody lying on that first date. But you soon gonna return. Amen. You know. So so. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Oh, any genre. Ooh, that's ooh. only three. Well, this I came up with a booger, Brad. Everybody didn't? always the that's same the response. same reaction everybody give me. Top that three really artists is. of because, all time. You know, and like I we said, we know so many people that you love. Meaning, like listening to, mm -hmm. it's hard to really put it down to just three. That's well, really what that it don't is. matter to me. I know what my rules is. This is the boss talk one hundred and one. <laughs> Okay, that's a good one. Who's your oh, number one? Lord Jesus. Ooh. Come on with it. I'm number I'm one. Trying, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of any genre. Any too. genre. That's it can be any genre. You you could say Kiss. You know Kiss back in the day with the tone <laughs> and all. I was well. Okay, I tell you what. You go because y'all you, you know if you remember in junior. It high. can be. It can be any I'm genre. Have to, I'm gonna have to say. I don't know if you remember back in junior. What did I win a hundred dollars for? Michael Jackson. I knew it. Yeah, he was a Michael Jackson. I was he Michael won. Jackson back then. Yeah, I remember I that. I remember that, man. Day. Yeah, yeah. That boy, do you still got moves? Oh, 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 oh that boy's still cold. LK, shout out. Y'all want to bring him back? It's going to yeah, cost money gonna now. Cost Ain't nobody going to be coming down there with these. We got to get these jackets out. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, Mike, I, I have to say Mike, Mike yeah, yeah, because that was me growing up. I mean, we go spiritual too. Yeah. It, it, and then uh, also, um, my favorite one is, um, and I, I really do like her her music. It is uh, Tamla Man. Tamla Man. Have I, you I met like her? Him. She out here in yeah. Dallas. Well, I haven't met her personally, but I've seen her out on okay. the church service. Yeah, you know, in the church where you know. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. That, but I do shout love out to Tamla her. Man. I love her singing, and uh, of course the Clark sisters. I the Clark that. sisters. Did like, you watch the movie? Yeah. I watched so them, them your three. Know, them your three. Huh? Them your three. Oh no, I can't like that. So you didn't get to pop. I got to get No, no, no. You just throwing out names. We need to know what you're So you won't pop in now. So you won't pop in now. You said Michael. Okay, yeah. get him still. number one. So yeah. who was your number two? Okay. Uh, Tamala Man was your Tamla number Tamala Man was number two. Well, I don't want to put it that high. Okay, oh, so who dang, was, man. So who was number your number two? two? The Clark. Clark, Clark. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Who is number three? The Clark Sisters is above Tamala Man. Okay. Wow. Tamla Man can sing that song she's too. Okay. She got that take one me song. That she can, me, that's that's the one song. Me that's to, that's she the hold one that mic song. like this. Take, take me to. <laughs> I love. Oh man, it's just so old. Woo! One mo, just one mo, just give it to her. It, that's how I just say you it. You said Tupac earlier. Are you yeah, gonna give it the yeah, number three spot yeah, to, yeah, to, to yeah. Tupac? Was, man, he, he was, was prophetic. Was, when was, I was, was young, me and my mama okay. had poet. beef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was I, see, I, I, ain't I, nobody did a dear mama. I, 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 I thought you was like Willie D. I like Willie D back in the days. Yeah, <laughs> when I was in the streets, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now it's Pimp C. That yeah. was my greatest album yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I, yeah I remember being at the track meet in Dangerfield. I'll never forget it. And that tell me something good came yeah. on, man. Oh, and yeah. it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I had to, had to get that song. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> She don't know Dangerfield. You walk in that yeah, little stretch. Right, so yeah, there's a little stretch. Yeah. You get up there to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see, man, you know, I thank God for you. I thank you for coming on the thank show, you man. No problem, you know, that's when we're winding you. down. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, I mean, we like I say, we stream on Apple, Spotify. We okay. spit, we on Google Podcasting, mm-hmm. uh, Stitcher. Uh, we we definitely, uh, we going right. to put it out to the masses. I hope everybody enjoyed the show tonight. Okay. And I you hope know, everybody... Hit that like, like button. Like and, and subscribe on YouTube. Button, huh? on YouTube. Okay. okay. And follow us on Instagram, man. Yeah. Boss Dog right. Podcast but let's 101. Just, let's just stop right quick, man. Tell us the church, where yes. you at, uh, how people can reach you, and all that good stuff. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. The Greater True Vine Church. Right Greater True Vine Church. We're located in the heart of DeSoto, 538 Reunion Road, DeSoto. We, uh, you can uh, go to our website www.gtvchurch.org. We um, also have our community center if you need any help, uh, clothes, uh, toiletries. We're located in DeSoto. Call us at 972-230-9001. Our services are Sunday morning, in person or on our Facebook page and YouTube, the Greater True Vine Church DeSoto, 10 a.m. every Sunday, then Bible study, Wednesday night in the Word on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page. Man, um, man, we love the fact that you came through. We love oh, you. Oh, man. We love you. I'm we wish you much success. Here. Hey, Same man, we, we we don't spend a lot of time together, but we know we all right. We, yeah. we Facebook friends. That's right. <laughs> See, people don't realize that. We old, so we Facebook friends. Yeah, you young yeah. folks on Instagram. <laughs> me, and, hey, me and Mr. Colbert here is Facebook friends. Been Facebook friends for years. You know what I'm saying? I know. Our daughter told us, told yeah. us that, oh, Facebook is for old. Oh, I get, yeah, that's our daughter. <laughs> daughter. That, that's Shout out to all the Facebook people. Yeah, we here, baby. We still, <laughs> still holding on. <laughs> yeah, we 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 in my space. I guess that was our grandparents. Yeah, <laughs> Say, man, but thank you so much for coming oh, man, on the you're show. Welcome. And I'm anytime, here. anytime you have something going on, would you please let sure. us know if it's something sure. we can help with clothes or whatever? Okay. That's what and we I'll do. Reach. We own store okay. for rich, or, or if it's something we need to show up on, okay. or if it's somebody that you feel like need to be on the show okay. that can, can get a word out through the All masses. Right. Okay, you are, this channel is here for you, man. Oh man, you know? bless you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless and I just you. appreciate you for taking the time out yeah. to come and bless our listeners. Oh, man. You know, with a true word. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and to see somebody who went to grade school with me, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and to see God still got us here because a lot of yeah. us not here anymore. Yeah, I know. We're and and, and I, a lot of, a lot of my best friend, Mike, you know, yeah. he's not yeah. here anymore. So we can go on and on about yeah. that. And I remember that night that happened. I was yeah. there. Yeah, you were down there? I was there. I was at the high, I was, I just saw him at the uh, football game. Yeah. I was at the game. 
and we were just talking about we we're going to see each other. Wow. We we'll get back to Dallas. Yeah. I think he was in Garland or something. Yeah. At yeah. The time. Yeah. And I uh, spent a night at my grandmother's house. Wow. Woke up the next morning. They told Heard me. The and I said, oh, man, God, that's crazy. That, that, man. that just tore me up. Yeah, man. man I never forget him. You know, we was together every yeah, day. Yeah. And, um, you know, his son is my godson, right. Michael okay. Harrison. Okay. His birth. Shout out to yeah. Michael Harrison Jr. You yeah. know, you've probably been coming <laughs> to see me last weekend, but you didn't come. But it's cool, though. Yeah. You're still my guy, man. So, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got kids now, man. Oh, and, okay. you know, just to have those conversations mm. with him and, and, yeah. and, Darius, I talked to him a few weeks okay. ago. Yeah. You know, I just try to stay knitted. I go see yes. Bird if I have to whenever I'm in That's town, good. man. That's just good. love our people, man. Yeah. Um, just, just oh, yeah, we should be good, though. Um, the thing I say, man, is thank you. Thank you so much for coming on oh, the show. you welcome. Anytime. Uh, the same hey, here. Hey, like you I need, said, if I you need, need you, I'm going to holler at you. Yeah, just holler at me um, if you need um Anything. Uh, ministry. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever you know, we need to do. Me, just, uh, just let me know. For sure. We're just trying to, uh, you know, we just try to do Jesus' ministry. That's why we call it Matthew 25 Alive. Amen. You know, Amen. Trying to make that word off that page come alive. There it is. Okay. Got to make it come alive. So. Really, man. So, hey, man, this is another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.